Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be doing my review for Episode 20, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. But also as we head towards the finale, because we're only two episodes off, next episode we've got Red Dawn, that's Episode 21, then 22 is the quest for peace. So... Red Daughter episode, next episode, I'm so excited, this is one of my most anticipated episodes along with that origin story episode a while back which is the best episode of the season for sure. So excited that Supergirl is finally, finally going to meet and fight Red Daughter as you see in the trailer which we'll be breaking down hopefully later today so don't miss that because there is a lot to break down in that trailer and it's very exciting. Alright so this episode, episode 20 was really good I really liked it It was very very touching and I felt like it was more of a earlier season type episode apart from you know some of the agent Liberty stuff which felt very season 4 but we didn't have Alex in the DEO we had some really heartfelt moments with Alex and it reminded me of the time when you know the focus was on Alex and her relationships you know to do with Maggie getting to know Maggie it sort of reminded me a bit of that and also there was a lot of references obviously to Maggie and to some various other things in the past on the show so I really liked this episode I thought it was very very good for the most part all right so let's go ahead and break it down so bit by bit we'll go through this so at the start of the episode we find Kara and Lena in Kasnia as we ended off last episode and so during this they're on a flight, they're on this private jet, Kara's like, oh, let me fly. And she was like, hmm, no, we're going together on this plane. Obviously, she doesn't know she's Supergirl yet. And then we have the purple lightning storm. Don't know how that was created, but it was alluded to that Lex had some sort of device. It was unnatural, basically. So it was a bit confusing as to what happened, but it was a really great scene because Kara helps the plane down. Lena thinks she's doing it. Kara gets back in. Lena's like, oh snap, what happened to Kara? She goes back, and you get this face on the screen right now. Absolutely love it. I think the combination of Lena and Kara working together in this episode killed it. Much, much better than I expected. And, you know, I really, really liked that part of the episode. So, like I said, this episode was very, very touching, and we had a lot of Alex scenes. So let's talk a bit about Alex right now. So, right at the start of the episode... Alex is talking to Kelly and she's like, it must be strange to have a sibling with superpowers and that's at the point where you're like, oh shit, she still doesn't remember, but they're supposed to be figuring that out, I believe in episode 21 actually, yeah, so next episode I think Alex might find out about Supergirl and Kara, so it's been a long time, like I said before, actually I said it yesterday in yesterday's video, go check that out, that's about the finale and episode 21, they released a synopsis and some details about that, but I talked about how long it's been and it's been a bit too long I think in my opinion, but it was nice that they actually referenced it, like, hmm, I wonder what it would be like to have a sister or a sibling with superpowers, not sure, but anyway, so the big part of the episode is about Alex and her adoption and I love this part of the episode, I was really really touched and I really thought it was so charming some of the scenes between Kelly and Alex and then we go on to the end and you get the reveal but what everyone has been talking about on Twitter and online and everything is are they going to get together and so I'm talking about Alex and Kelly here and I think there is a high chance they do, it definitely seems like they're setting up, they said that Kelly had a girlfriend once, she was engaged I do believe and then she got killed in the line of action and you know it all sort of plays into Alex and her getting over the fact that she's not with Maggie anymore and she made that choice so again like I said bittersweet moments to do with Samvers and how that ended which obviously you know I'm a big fan of Samvers so I'm actually quite open to this and that potentially because you know they've been hinting in the last few episodes you've seen some of those scenes where there's a real connection between them and there's a lot of chemistry between Kyla and Azzy as actors so I think it works and I think there is a high chance but also I think there's a chance that they're just doing it so that Kelly is Alex's support so not in like an emotional way that they're going to get together or anything so I think it's about 60% going to happen 40% may not happen so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below but Personally, as a Sanvers fan, as a fan of Alex and Maggie, 
I'm actually kind of open to this and I think they have a connection and if they want to go forward with it I'm fine as long as they do it justice and do everything in the right way and so let's move on past that bit but I really like those sentimental moments we'll talk a bit about that in a second after we've talked about some other stuff so we start the episode just after Kara and Lena and after Alex and Kelly have their scenes at the beginning we have Ben Lockwood's wife's funeral she was actually killed it looked like she was dead but we weren't 100% sure but yes she has a funeral and it all sort of leads up to the end of the episode when we get the revelation that Ben Lockwood's son sort of blames him and he's going to be the one to stop the Children of Liberty basically. We've seen some spoilers from behind the scenes. It seems like he's the one to call for peace. I'm guessing Agent Liberty is going to die somehow. Well, he gets powers in this episode. Kind of interesting, but you know, we've seen similar stuff recently and I, like I said, I think they need to go full throttle Red Daughter and so I was excited in this episode that we had the Kara and Lena storyline with Eve because that was all about Red Daughter and I loved that part and like I said not the biggest fan of Agent Liberty I think he's a bit boring right now and I think they really need to go for Red Daughter and so I'm glad to see that next episode is mainly to do with Red Daughter all right so let's move on so Alex and Kelly talk about this new child and Alex gets the news that she is going to be a mother and so she's so happy for Alex, Alex is happy, such a sweet and charming scene and it's really nice like I said to see Alex not in the DEO uniform, she's just being her normal self, most of the scenes in the episode was in her apartment, they were just lying down on the couch, on the sofa and it was just some nice moments and I really liked it and Alex turns out by the end the big reveal is the mother of this child that she was supposed to be adopting changed her mind and so she's going to have to overcome that and she's going to have to try again and try and find another child that she may want to actually adopt which I'm looking forward to. Don't know if it's going to happen, maybe it's going to happen in the finale. Alright, so let's move on. So we see Lex's test subjects, they're all from the DEO, they've been authorised by the chief of staff who betrayed everyone to work with Lex. I don't know if it's the chief of staff or the person we saw in the White House a few episodes ago, correct me if I'm wrong, but anyway, someone high up is helping them, and so you see these test subjects, these aliens that Lex has been working on to try and harness whatever he wants to do. And so we get these revelations in the episode to do with Red Daughter, and it's the best part of the episode for sure. So we find out that this version of Supergirl has actually been split and she's a essential blank slate as Lena put it in this episode and she's been molded and manipulated and nurtured to be controlled just like when Rain was actually split because as Lena explains in the episode Kryptonians can be split when they're in contact with her and Al and so that is a big revelation that she is kind of similar to Rain in the fact that last season we saw Rain and she got split from Samantha to Rain and we had those scenes in the last few episodes which were amazing. So essentially that's what's happened and I'm kind of glad that Red Daughter is actually, you know, a split version. She relates to what happened with Rain last season. It's good to see they're carrying that on because, like I said, many times. I love Rain. I think she's definitely the best villain by far and to see the stuff carry on from season 3 into the season, that's what I'm here for. I love that stuff and the fact that she's actually split and Kara feels sorry for her and maybe there is a way for her to be good. So we'll have to see next episode how that all goes down and so also Kara finds out about Red Daughter's room and where she was living and we saw those scenes in the origin episode with tons of pictures of her, especially with Kara and Alex, but also other photos, obviously the stills from the show that they put there, but it essentially says Lex knows about your secret identity, you're screwed. And so later in the episode, she's on the plane, Kara's going back to America with Lena and she is behind her, she takes her glasses off and we have this really, really nice shot of her with her hands on her hips and she's about to reveal that she's Supergirl but then Lena has that speech where she talks about being betrayed and so on and then Kara's like, nah, I can't do this. 
So, you know, a really amazing moment. And for a second, I did actually think that she was actually going to reveal herself. But then once the speech sort of went on, you were like, nah. I don't think this is going to happen. Also in Kaznia this episode we have Eve and Eve has many clones of herself, Lex has done something to her, I don't know what exactly, I think they just alluded to that she's sort of like a hologram and she's duplicated her and by the end of the episode we think we've got Eve, we think Lena's got her, but instead she disappears so where's Eve? I think Eve is still with Lex and that's going to be a thing in the finale. Okay, so we have this fight scene later in the episode with Nia and James and Martian Manhunter returns and he shows up and that was definitely Jean's best moment of the whole season. It was truly amazing. He has that speech and he is showing his power. He is the Martian Manhunter. Loved that to bits. Loved when he showed up. But I still have a few questions about Nia and her powers because it seems like she's just getting new powers week by week and I don't know what the electricity thing is they showed it last week and I think they're bending with her powers a bit I don't know if I missed out some stuff but it seems like she's getting new powers here and there like you know whenever but anyway so let's move on and talk about what happens nearer to the end of the episode so we see the aftermath of Alex finding out about that this child that she was supposed to adopt isn't going to be the one that she's going to look after and be the mother to so you know it's really kind of heartbreaking but also it's quite hopeful and I look forward to what's happening later with Alex hopefully they do it this season because it's been a long time they set it up at the end of last season it's taken this long Wow, that's a long time. And so, by the end of the episode, we see, like I said earlier, Ben Lockwood is turned on by his son George, and Ben is sort of alone, and you see he's got his powers and everything, so that's going to be sort of wrapped up by the end of the season, and hopefully we don't see Agent Liberty again. Really bored of him, like I've said, but I'm not going to emphasize that again. So the final scene of the episode, the ending, is really intriguing, because we see Kara go to the White House and warn everyone, warn the president, that Lex is going to be coming with this attack from Kaznia and she gets kidnapped. They put the bag over her head. Obviously, they can't hold her, but they do have kryptonite. So I'm guessing they may find out about Supergirl being Kara in next episode because they got the kryptonite. They'll be like, hmm, why is this person just randomly hurting or something like that? And I think maybe Eve will get involved and maybe the chief of staff who's working for Lex. I think there's going to be some sort of big revelation next episode, but she gets out. Obviously, you've seen the trailer if you have or watch my video out later today on the trailer doing a breakdown, but you see Supergirl is fighting Red Daughter, so she gets out somehow, but at the end of the episode, we saw that he had kryptonite in his office, he's a bit wary, and he clicks the button, and she gets a bag on her head, so in terms of why I think the president did this, number one, He's working with Lex Luthor, I think that's a high chance that he's, you know, on the payroll of Lex Luthor, or number two, which is kind of crazy, it is Lex Luthor and he's using the device. I think that's kind of nuts and that would be very interesting that he's been hiding in plain sight just recently since the White House attack that maybe the president was actually killed and Lex took over his persona and now he's the president because... He seemed very relaxed about it, and if you were a true president, I'm fairly sure you might be freaking the hell out that your country was about to be invaded by a bunch of Kaznians led by Lex Luthor, one of the biggest criminals in America, in National City, or in Metropolis. So, yeah, I think there's a lot of different ways they can go with it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. So thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this episode, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications to not miss any Supergirl videos, and I'll see you guys later, goodbye.